Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at the new iOS 4.2 update for the iPad. This episode specifically, we're taking a look at Find My iPhone, which is available now for the iPhone and the iPad. Now, the Find My iPhone is a program that you actually have on either the iPhone or the iPad that actually allows you to locate it. So you can locate your iPad from your iPhone, your iPhone from your iPad, or both of them from a computer potentially. Find My iPhone is something that only used to be available to subscribers of MobileMe, but now it is available to anyone that has 4.2 on either the iPhone or the iPad. All you need is an iTunes ID, so if you already download stuff from iTunes, you're good to go. You can set it up on your iPad. First, locate the Find My iPhone application on your iPad and open it up. It'll ask you for your Apple ID and your password. Enter in the same information you use to connect to iTunes. Then do the same on your iPhone. If you're stuck at any point, you can actually click on the Setup Instructions link and it'll take you to a web page with all the instructions you need to make this happen. After you've input your information, when you fire up the app, it'll locate all of the devices associated with your account, including iPhones and iPads. It'll also locate the one you're using, which isn't quite so useful, but it is there. Clicking on the name of the device will bring it up on a map view and it'll locate it on a map. That way, if you lost your iPhone, say, at a restaurant or a bar or at someone else's house, it'll give you the general vicinity where it is. If it's in your house, but you can't locate it in your house, there is a way to find it. Next to the legend of the device on the map, there should be an arrow. Click on that, and it'll give you a few options. The first one is to display a message on the phone. So you can send a message to the person who may have found it, saying, call me. You can also choose to play a sound, which will cause the iPad or the iPhone to start beeping until someone picks it up and tells it to stop. If you're more paranoid, you can also choose to lock the phone remotely so someone can't get access to it. You can also change the passcode on your device to something new so that the person that has it can't get into it automatically. If you're really paranoid, you can also choose to wipe the phone completely. This will remove all the data on the phone. That way, someone can't take your contact information or any sensitive data that you might have on it. That's it for the Find My iPhone feature. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series where we show you how to use other aspects of the iOS 4.2 upgrade. And don't forget to check out the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.